We got a gameplay here on the free pink diamond takeover to Marcus Cousins and NBA 2K23. My team is going to be a 95 overall center power forward and he's 6 foot 10, so a pretty good height for that center position and going to be a really good height for a power forward. I'm not exactly sure if he's going to be better at the center spot or the power forward spot. I guess we'll find that out later in the video. But looking at his stats here, he's going to be great on the offensive end, having a 90, uh, 90 mid range, 87 three ball, 85 standing dunk, and an 80 driving dunk. Now, defensively, that's probably where he's going to be the worst and his biggest flaw. He only has 81 block 88 interior defense a 79 steel and a 76 perimeter he is going to be a good rebounder though at 93 offensive with 94 defensive and he's going to be decently fast 83 speed 83 acceleration with a 77 speed with ball and then looking at his badges he does have seven in hall of fame including back down punisher bully dream shake masher catch and shoot box obese and brick wall so seven really good hall of fame badges and then he also does have 28 on gold including posterizer rise up blinders claymore corner specialist green machine guard up clay breaker which is really nice for your set Center, quick first step vice grip anchor chase on artist interceptor pogo stick workhorse and rebound chaser as well and then he does have two on silver including mini magician and aerial wizard so overall guys i do think this the market cousins is going to be a really good free pink diamond obviously from the takeover wards and i do want to give a massive shout out to blazion for letting me use this uh using this boogie cousins for the gameplay i'll leave a link to his twitter in the description down below make sure to go show him some love and once again just want to give him a massive thank you but first thing we can notice is his movement is actually going to be very good for a power forward because he does have the mj dribble style as you guys can see he kind of has that shifty burst from last year and then jump shot wise okay that is going to be a slow release okay i'm not exactly sure if it's on slow timing but yeah it's going to be a little bit slower of a jump shot than normal yeah okay i'd say i would say it's not a bad jump shot though it's actually gonna be pretty nice the more that i'm using it it's actually not that slow yeah okay so it's not a slow release it was just the first one was just kind of weird but overall got a great jump shot his movement's going to be really good doesn't have the normal leaner which i would have liked to see on a boogie cousins and then going to the basket he does feel really agile and really fast as well so i will say i mean this boogie card is going to be very good in the offensive end i just kind of want to see what he can do on the defensive side of things with those stats and badges really not being the best but overall i do think he's going to be a very good free power forward or center but let's go green one more three and let's get on to the pink diamond demarcus cousins gameplay into the clutch M online game here my opponent does have a very good squad with guys like diamond porzingis he's got anthony davis so a very good looking squad but we're looking to find boogie cousins at the top of the key and we are going to start it off hot with boogie cousins knocking down his first three ball in the game but like i was saying guys he's got a very good squad he's got that new diamond shea card who looks to be one of the best point guards in the game as we try to play some great defense and shea is going to get those two free throws at the line but i think overall this boogie cousins card is actually going to be very underrated now is he going to be worth grinding those 135 games for you obviously have to win those games as well i'm not exactly sure is anthony davis just going to be able to rebound us i'm not exactly sure if this card's going to be worth it but if you do get him from the vault or you get him you know from a wheel spin i do think he's going to be a very good center or power forward as we're looking to play some great defense here on porzingis can we get the stop and yes we do and we actually kind of jump too many times and not able to get the rebound but pipping gonna come down with it and we got to look to cook on the offensive end looking to go around that screen can we find boogie at the top of the key yes we can but he is fading all over the place we got to maybe try to find him on a back door he's a little bit faster than porzingis but Kristaps able to get that last second block there i thought we maybe got that dunk to go getting in and behind a guy like Kristaps, but he's seven foot three and that's actually a really good test for a guy like demarcus because you know boogie's only six foot ten he does have like 96 strength though he's got some really good you know hall of fame bully badges so i think he'll be fine defensively against a guy like Kristaps. but i do want to see what he can do on the rebounding side of things as Kristaps tries to pull up in transition and we are running can we find boogie here in transition gotta look to go around that screen you know what boogie cousins wants to do we know we want to find him at that three-point line can we take jimmy butler here off the dribble probably don't really have that much space can we stop pop from way downtown no stamina and it does not matter look at boogie knocking down his second three on the ball game already he is cooking on the offensive end right now and defensively really not playing that bad either we've got to watch that Kristaps pop we're trying to get back can boogie get the block we're going to jump in the air but great defense there from boogie he's going to get a block on Kristaps, and we are running in transition so far off to a really a really hot start we have trey young left wide open but can we find boogie at the top of the key can we stop pop from the four point range and that was an absolutely terrible shot i was just trying to chuck it up kind of a heat check shot see if we get a three ball or a four pointer to go but we got to play some good defense here got to watch that shea as he's going to pull up kind of in transition I'm not exactly sure why he took that shot but we got to try to slow it down here and get back in the pick and roll i mean cousins is going to be really good in the rolling or popping as you guys can see he's leaving us wide open once again and boogie cousins if it's in the catch and shoot he gets a good catch animation he is able to knock it down every single time man like that's obviously going to be the best thing about cousins is definitely going to be his pick and pop ability and rolling to the basket he's going to be very solid as well look at him snagging a rebound over Kristaps. so i think he's going to be a fine rebounder and a fine defender as 
well. We're looking to go around that screen for Boogie once again, trying to find him on the roll, and my opponent is out of here. Boogie went absolutely insane in the first clutch time game. Into the second clutch time online game here, starting out on the defensive end. My opponent's got a lot worse of a squad. He's got the Galaxy Slip with Trey Young. He's got a gold center. So, I mean, if Boogie Cousins doesn't absolutely cook this, I would be very, very shocked as we try to play some good defense, but Trey Young able to get that layup to go. But yeah, we got to find we got to find Boogie Cousins here in the pick and pop. He went absolutely crazy in that first clutch time game. He was playing amazing on the offensive end and defensively as well as we are just going to bully our way through. As you guys can see in the top right, Hall of Fame Bully is going to pop up. He's got 96 strength Hall of Fame Bully badge, so he can definitely dominate down low. I know I know he's only six foot ten, which is obviously going to be a little bit undersized, but he is really strong and good at, you know, going down low in the post and defensively. I think that strength really does help him against the bigger centers. But like I said, my opponent's got that gold center. We just got to be able to cook him blowing right right by him as we're going to go all the way to the cup and get another dunk to go. I mean, this boogie card, he is just super fast for a center, 83 speed, 83 acceleration. And I think he does have what, like a 73 or 79 uh, speed with ball as well. So, I mean, this card is going to be very, very fast. We're going to play some great defense here on Cam Reddish. My opponent, he's pulling up with Trey Young. We can't grab the rebound and we're going to get the steal though. I'm pretty sure those boogie steal and we are running in transition. You know what boogie wants to do. We're trying to attack the paint. We got to get some more three pointers. We got to slow it down. Look to go around that screen. Boogie just wants to get on the inside and that is a terrible pass but Giannis gets the ball back and Boogie go all the way and man that was a terrible offensive possession as this game's looking to actually be a lot closer than the first game where my opponent had a way better a way better team in that first clutch time game but we're struggling a little bit more here with Boogie Cousins it is nice to get a second clutch time game able to see what Boogie can do a little bit more but looking to play some good defense I do wish my opponent had maybe better center than only a gold card but I guess we'll be we'll be able to see what Boogie can do against a very bad center but looking to play some great defense we have my opponent in an absolute box and we're gonna be able to snag that rebound i do like boogie's rebounding animations it seems like he can definitely snag boards at a very high level we're looking to go around that screen you know what boogie wants to do we want to find him down low and he is going to get another bucket he's already got six points one rebound and i'm pretty sure one steal as well but guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this pink diamond boogie card as we almost get a steal but yeah let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the free pink diamond takeover to marcus cousins do you guys think he's going to be a top five center top 10 where do you guys do think he ranks amongst the best centers in the game and the best power forward as well and also let me know do you guys think he's going to be a better center or a power forward honestly i know this might be a little bit shocking but i think he might be actually better at the center position than he is power forward i think he's got enough uh, he's got a good enough player model he's got that strength which i think is going to be really crucial as he's just so fast at the center spot i think that's why i want to run him at center is because he's got that 83 speed 83 acceleration i just feel like he'd be maybe a little bit too slow at the power forward spot where at center i feel like he's going to be perfectly speed wise as we play some great defense there to Marcus Cousins getting that contest on Trey Young and I want to find Boogie from the three-point land man we got to find him left wide open and yeah that jump shot is absolutely money as he's now got 11 points on the ball game that jump shot in the catch and shoot is absolutely insane honestly one of my favorite releases always in my team I feel like Boogie always gets a great jump shot he's gonna go all the way and get that dunk to go now talking about being a top five center top 10 center is he top five I would say most likely not now top 10 I would say he's definitely gonna be somewhere in that top 10 for centers is he going to be kind of in the top five like i said most likely not because if you think about the top five centers i'd say right now it's probably like kareem shaq chris stops tim duncan and hakeem and i don't think he's better than any of those centers but after that i could definitely be i could definitely see him being the next best centers he's looking to get that steal and we are running in transition and my opponent is out of here once again boogie just made two people rage quit and put up a, a ton of buckets and overall played absolutely amazing but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the free pink diamond takeover boogie and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.